Namaste, good morning. This is Gurpreet Kaur. You are watching my channel, Vitsa Yoga. Today we will learn how to do the chin stand. In the in initially, if you're not able to do it, don't disappoint it. There are a few tips which you need to practice first, and later it will come automatically so easily. So first, we will start with little bit warm up. So we'll try to do our backward forward bending. Uh, instead of standing backward forward bending, I'll show you little bit cobra movement. What you can do, you can lay down on your stomach like that. Keep your hands under the shoulder. You can bring your forehead down and bring your body up. Bring your forehead down with breathing, yeah, and up, down, up, down, and up. I did very few. You need to do at least ten to twenty rounds, and after that, you can lay down in your on the back. After laying down on the back, we will try to do our chakra. You can bring your hands under the shoulder. If you're not able to bring, if you're not able to lift your whole body, this will be your first level. And if you can, that will be your second level. Try to bring your nose down. and up bring the nose down and up bring the nose down and up and slowly you'll be back and hug your legs after that give a roll and sit on your mat so this is just for your stretching purposes the next thing is when you try to lift your legs up you required your shoulders mobility shoulder strength so for that your ashtang pranam your chaturanga your push up should be strong so i'll show you the simple ways how you can make it you can use the two blocks for the references every time and you can bring your hands near by below the uh, block and then you're going to bring your shoulder down and come up i know it's not a full push up but it's half push up whenever i practice this i try to cover my block in my l very important so and this i use it just to as my friend so if you uh, if you don't have anybody besides you to help you to lift you the wall the blocks the props it really helps you to reach to the next level so after doing this 20 30 rounds we will do our ashtang prana how to do that you can bring your hands under the shoulder knees down you try to bring your chest and chin down this is your ashtang prana and back and after this you need to do your chaturanga as well so in the chaturanga you need to lift your knees up and you need to bend your upper part and then back very basic things uh, i'm just showing you one two three rounds uh, it doesn't mean you just need to practice one time and then you have to stop it no you need to do at least 20 30 hours i'm saying it before going to that step and uh, i will i will try to teach you with that method which i have learned uh, my method was when i started doing it i used to take a support of my blog so same thing i will teach you as well you're going to bring your blocks see the dip, the separation people don't understand that we need to keep it like that we need to keep it like that you need to check your shoulders make sure it is on the shoulder it don't hurt your chest at all keep it on the shoulder and so if somebody besides you who's doing this much you don't need to do it you need to look at yourself first so you're going to put it here again i will bring my hands behind the block and we will bring the shoulders and the chin down you're going to lift your knees and initially guys if you not able to lift your both legs don't disappoint it second round what we can do it instead of that we will same position try to lift your right leg up 
learn how do you feel here and after that here very basic things which I learned actually but uh, if you feel like uh, something which I missed it and uh, you want to ask or you want to discuss please write it in the below uh, comment section and uh, whatever you feel like please discuss with me in the comment section regarding the poses and uh, please subscribe my channel and thank you so much